Hi, this is Madison with Portrait Displays. Today, we're going to show you how to use Portrait's CalMan Home for LG color calibration software to complete an HDR calibration on a 2019 LG C9 OLED TV with built-in pattern generator. Our technical evangelist, Tyler Pruitt, will walk you through the calibration one step at a time. You may be asking yourself, what is a pattern generator? Well, there are three things you need to calibrate a TV. Calibration software, like CalMan Home for LG. A meter to read the color patterns on the screen, like a C6 HDR2000. And a pattern generator to put the color patterns on the screen. The patterns that are generated are just rectangles sent to the screen that have a specific color value. During the calibration process, CalMan tells the pattern generator to send a specific color to the screen. The meter reads the color and reports back to CalMan. CalMan knows the value of the color that was sent and compares it with the value read by the meter. Then CalMan makes adjustments to the TV so the two values match. So, the 2019 LG TV provides one of the three things needed for calibration. The pattern generator is built in. So, all you need is the software and the meter. Before we get going, you need to set up the TV to use the built-in pattern generator. The TV needs to have a solid gray background during the entire calibration process. A one-hour video of nothing but solid gray has been created for you to use. Plenty of time to do a calibration. To download that video, use your computer, go to portrait.com, and under the support heading, click on the Resource Center. Look for the how-to article on the LG 2019 internal pattern generator. Right-click on the link to download the video file onto your desktop. Copy the video file onto a USB drive, also known as a flash drive or USB stick. Plug the USB drive into the TV. You will use the TV's media player app to play the file during calibration. Now, our technical evangelist, Tyler Pruitt, will walk you through the tutorial. Tyler will be using Portrait Display's CalMan Home for LG color calibration software. He will also be using Portrait C6 HDR 2000 colorimeter to read the colors on the screen. Take it away, Tyler. Hey, this is Tyler, technical evangelist for Portrait Displays. We're going to get right to it. We're calibrating the 2019 LG C9 OLED television using CalMan Home for LG. So I just started playing my hour-long HDR10 video file using the built-in media player in the TV, and that will kick the TV into the proper HDR mode, and that allows us to use the built-in test pattern generator correctly for HDR calibration. Okay, so I'm gonna go and open our LG AutoCal workflow, and I'm gonna select OLED here, and then HDR here. Now one thing about this process is it actually calibrates HDR10 and HLG. They both sh share the same picture mode. Um, it's just um, kind of like two sides of one picture mode. So you just have to do this calibration once and then your HDR cinema mode will be calibrated for both HDR10 and HLG. The first thing we're going to do is connect our measurement device, which in this case is the C6 HDR2000. Click our Find Meter button. Want to make sure we have the right meter mode selected. If you're using an i1 Display Pro, we recommend using RAW XYZ as the meter mode unless you've created your own with your own uh, spectro radiometer. So now we're going to go to Find Source. We're going to select LG. We're going to enter our IP address right here. In this case, I've connected an Ethernet cable directly from my laptop to the TV. And both the TV and the laptop will assign a 169.254 address. You can also use a normal Ethernet or Wi-Fi network 
or one could be on Wi-Fi and one can be on Ethernet. It doesn't really matter. We've seen no difference. Um, but in this case, I'm just using a direct connection. So I'm going to hit connect. An eight digit pin code will pop up on the TV. This is randomized for each session as a security feature. Hit OK. We're going to use the 10% window. Now I'm going to click up here on this LG uh, meter tab in the middle. One important thing to note is this color space setting. When we're calibrating HDR or Dolby Vision, we need to change this to HDR 2020. It's an important step or else your calibration will be invalid. Um, you can also bring up different gradient patterns or ramps and stuff that are built in. Um, if you want to look at uh, uh, gradient ramps after calibration. Okay, so back here, we've connected to our source and our meter. The next step is to connect to our TV as a display. So we hit find again and we wanna make sure we're doing a C9 calibration, so we want to select the correct LG model here and hit connect. Okay, we're connected now, and we need to select which HDR picture mode we're going to calibrate. So these are our options. I'm going to select HDR Cinema. We want to make sure that this is checked and this is set to 2020 and then hit full DDC reset right here. Okay, now our picture is reset. We have uploaded a Unity, which means no change. 3D and 1D lookup tables to the display to prepare it for our auto calibration. So we're going to go to next. If everything is correct, this should be checked. So you don't need to do anything on this page. You just need to verify that this checkbox is checked. Okay, now it's time to create our 1D lookup table calibration. So we're going to click our AutoCal button. Actually, wait, before I do that, I wanted to let you know, if you want the best calibration possible, we recommend going up here and under application measurement options, change your Delta E formula to DEITP. It will take uh, a little bit longer for the calibration to run, but I think it is worth the extra time especially uh, near black detail. Um, if you change it to that, we are seeing better results. Okay, so I'm gonna hit AutoCal and then change this to LG 20 points HDR and then hit okay. Okay, so that took about 20 minutes, a little over 20 minutes. Um, if you would have chosen the other Delta E formula, it would probably taken a little over 10 minutes, but I think the extra time is worth it. Okay, next step, create 3D LUT. So we're going to click our AutoCal button and then hit OK. All right, next. Now we're going to measure our peak luminance. 
to feed that back into the TV to tell the TV how bright it actually this particular panel is and then the TV can recalculate its tone curves HDR tone curves so it tracks um, tracks the uh, the ST2084 curve correctly so I'm gonna go measure Seven fifty. So then I'm going to click here, enter seven fifty, then hit upload here. That's going to send it back to the TV. Now we are making a separate video that explains all the custom HDR tone curves. So stay tuned for that, and we'll explain all these different parameters and how you can use them to customize the TV's HDR tone mapping to your specific preference or to any other way that you want to customize it. Next, uncheck enable calibration. And that is the in, end of our uh, process. Now we're not able to do before and after for HDR when we're using the internal generator, but plenty of people have validated that the internal generator matches uh, a pattern generator like the VideoForge Pro and the Meridio 6G, amongst others. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.